Okay, the uh, Scorpion CX-5. Reedwood has been bugging me a long time to pick this. Um, the key does not work particularly well in this lock for whatever reason. Um, I think that the cuts are done a bit too low on it, which might be a good thing. This, this lock has some masters in it, so maybe what I'll do is replace those uh, key pins with longer pins and then hand cut this uh, key a bit lower um, and do it right so they work more smoothly. But um, this has uh, six pins on top <coughs> with counter milling and uh, all six driver pins are gin spools. And then it has five sliders on the side uh, that interact with the sidebar. Um, this lock, uh, I can't get it to isolate. So um, what that means is that uh, most people I watch picking this, they can pick all the top pins first and then go on to picking the sidebar pins after. But um, part of my sidebar, some of the pins on my sidebar have to pick to get a little bit more rotation and then go back to the top pins again. So what I just did is I just poked up on each of these to get them to get to into the uh, get the gins into the counter milling, and then um, now I'm just kind of do a little bit of bullying on the pins to get them a little bit further. Normally I can't bully this, but because the um, like I tried doing uh, progressive pinning in that. Um, for me, progressive is I did all the top pins without the sidebar, and then I did just the sidebar and the top pins. And that was actually harder to do the top pins that way, because um, for me, because uh, I had to use two tensioners to even get anywhere to get the uh, gins out of those counter millings. Um, and uh, when I added the sidebar in, um, that sidebar uh, provided some of the counter rotation I needed to to just ease up tension on the on the tensioner and then let the uh, let the uh, the plug rotate back and get those gins out of those uh, out of those uh, counter mills so I'm just gonna see about getting some of these up a little So that's six, five in the back. I just want to make sure that they're, uh, I might have over lifted four there. If I get lucky, everything would be, all the top would be picked before I even start on the sidebar. But I have yet to have that happen. I picked it um, four times. Uh, because I didn't have the opportunity to film. Uh, I was doing something with some friends and I was able to pick at the time. Oops, sorry, just bashed the camera with my head. I'm just checking to see if my head's going in the camera now. Um, so I was able to pick during that and get it open, but I wasn't able to film. So there's uh, pin four on the sidebar. Let's see. So one thing I notice is that I have to set the sidebar in a very specific order. If I don't, I can't I can't turn pin five at all right there. It's like super tight. I gotta go back and check that four is up. Uh, let's check some of the others. Oh, this is new. Like four is, four feels set but I can't do anything with five, so let's check the top again rather than wasting more time with that sidebar. Since I did set one pin, I got a little bit more rotation, although I didn't feel any. A couple minor clicks from, there's a minor click from five, but something else dropped a little. Number one is way up front it's it's tough to get with this hook number one but it's possible let's go back to checking four again to see if that's maybe what dropped yep four dropped five 
five click and a bit of core rotation there. Let's check some more sidebar pins. I do note that sometimes I need to go back and forth on four and five um, and click them a couple times before I get that core rotation. Sometimes I can get even more core rotation. Core rotation. Just go check on them a little bit more. Four and five. I, I think they're set. Let's check uh, two. No. Okay, so now that I got that little bit more rotation when I got four and five set on the sidebar, let's go and check these uh, top pins again. All right, I feel springiness on six. That's not a good sign. That is a sign of an overset. I'm going to back off some on my tension to let some drop. I think maybe I'll overset on three. Even though I'm letting go, <laughs> my pins aren't dropping. Usually they would, so it's probably because I set the sidebar some. That's not giving as, me as much uh, counter pressure. <clears throat> okay, one, two, three, fours. Okay, fives. Okay, six. Let's check the sidebar again. And this is how my picks have been, just kind of going back and forth, checking them all. Five, I mean four, sorry, on the sidebar. Five on sidebar, a little bit uh, of rotation in the core. Two, all right. So that's the sidebar is, uh, the sidebar is done, but I'm gonna have to go back to it. All right, I gotta click out of one and that dropped into uh, the counter mill. So I'm gonna have to get one a little bit more. So I put in this other tensioner just to give me a little counter rotation. And I'm gonna bounce check one. Oh, I'm not sure if I got it in there. I'll assume I did. It'd be bad to counter rotate more if I don't have to. Just check some other ones. Six, five, four, click from three. Hmm. See if I lost my sidebar. I usually do. Four feels still set. Five still feels set. Click from two and we're open. So it was just those uh, number one um, I had to use the tension wrench to move it back and set that out of the counter milling. Um, and then we got the open. So let's go ahead and turn on the autofocus and zoom out. And we'll use a new pinning tray today, which is a really nice one. Um, yeah, sorry, I going to take that out of there. Bring this fancy guy over here. This was from, this came from Diggs on Discord. He made these uh, nice pinning trays. This one's made out of brass. When I got this yesterday, I um, immediately asked him for an aluminum one as well, because they're just so nice. All right, uh, I didn't bring my little tool to remove the back cap, did I? All right, we'll do it manually. Okay, oh, I don't need the key. Oh, what I do need is a follower. You know what, we'll do it through the grip screws so I don't need a follower. All right, I'll lock it back up. I didn't bring a follower out here either. So rather than getting up and getting it, I'll just do this all through the grub screws if I do it in the right order. Six. Jump from six. Actually, doing the grub screws is actually nice because then I don't need to um, worry about the order that the, <clears throat> the masters pop out from the uh, Bible. 
My throat's kind of sore today. I don't know if you notice. Um, anything to mention about this lock? I already mentioned that I'm probably going to cut a new key for it, or cut the key down for it, and put in pins, because I, I don't like these masters in here. I don't think, uh, I don't think that the, maybe the masters supposedly make picking it easier at the top, but the fact that it doesn't isolate makes it harder than the usual lock, so, and then the sidebar. I can just slide this out because the channel for the sidebar goes all the way to the front on the plug. And there's the, the sidebar, it's just a bar of metal, no special, um, <clears throat> nothing special to it. Let's get these sidebar spring, oh, oh, alright, that was the sixth one I saw fall out. Or sorry, fifth one. And I'll have to sort all those. Let's see. Can I tell which one's which here? Alright, I think that's the fifth one there. I'll make that the oh, sorry, fourth one, third one. I'll check that in a second. If the third and fourth are in the right order. Man, I didn't bring out a bunch of tools. I've brought out such a limited amount of tools. Two, one. Flip that around. Two, one. These springs. There we go. That's got, we'll show the counter milling on that in a second. First, I want to. Arrange these. See if I can do that without sticking my head in. The, uh, without sticking my head in the way. I'm gonna turn this a little so I can see it. Um, it's a big old mess here. I think th so. This first chamber has two masters in it. Two master wafers. Most of them have one. I think there might be one other chamber that has two. Spring cap. Oh, maybe I'm overcrowding this. Uh, these uh, whatever they are, these slots on the pinning tray are getting kind of crowded. Where'd he go? Come on. Now I wish I had my other tweezers. It's a little bit of a challenge to get the really thin wafers to stand up. Maybe I'm just wasting time. Ah, okay. He will lay down. She will lay down. I don't know. It will lay down. Put this one here, that guy will lay down. Flip that around. Then I'll just check uh, that I have the sliders in the right order there. And we'll do our reveal, let's see. Yep, sliders look like they're in the right order. <clears throat> so what do we got? Oh, we got a spring that fell. That's for the sidebar. So there's our pins. Zoom in a little on that. You can see all uh, gin spools, standard pins for key pins and sliders. They have false gates on them. Put those false gates um, you see on five, four, and then little ones on one and two. One and three, sorry, one and three little false gates on them. They're they're for oversets. Like they don't even come into play until you overset those pins. Then here on the core, 
we've got counter milling looks like the counter milling is on all chambers all chambers all six chambers so it <clears throat> like I said when I did progressive um, well if you call it progressive where I did just top pins um, those played a big role uh, and it, it was actually easier once I put the uh, sidebar in and I got the counter rotation of that anyways that's the scorpion CX-5. Thanks.